a few little things here first before we get into the main part, which is on color. There's a program or a command called home. I don't know if I've highlighted it yet. Home gets you home if you have your turtle anywhere on the screen. Home draws a line if the pen's down back to the center. It doesn't clear off anything. If your pen's up and you move the turtle somehow and type in home, it goes to home, point it up directly to the center just in case you want to get there. CG, I almost did the wave last time, didn't quite finish it. Let me show you the program. Half R and then a half L and then it just does it over and over again. Here's the wave. Sorry, pen's not down. Oh, cool. Sorry, CG it. Half circles over and over again. Okay, today's topic is mainly color. To do that, you gotta have the color palette up here at the top. Icon that has the paintbrush and the yellow background, that's the color palette. If you click on that, over to the right becomes this color palette that you can manipul manipulate a little bit. Let's say you want the color red. If I clicked on red, it comes in here. There's a command called set color. It's one word, logo word, set C15, changes the turtle to red. You can also use words if you use set C and then quotes and then red, same thing. Or green, if you remember the color, maybe you want blue. Let's say you're not quite sure, but you come over here and you click on the palette, 117. 117, no quotes, word name, quotes, and don't put quotes at the end because uh, English teachers won't like that, but that's what it is in logo. Now if you draw something, like a square, draws in color. Whatever color the turtle is, that's what it draws in. There's another command called set background, and let's go with black, set background black, set BG, all one, one word, no spaces. Then you've got the background, and then you've got the color of the turtle. So we can do the same thing if you want to try it out. You can do different shades with the numbers. Whatever is over here on the color palette, the one I point out the most to the kids is that there's no purple. Doesn't know what it means. They call it, the logo people call it violet. Okay. I don't know if turquoise works either, but we'll try it. Oh, yeah. So try that out. You can do the background. You can do the, the turtle. Then there's one more. I want to CG it. I want to get back to normal, I guess. Set background zero. We'll leave the turtle purple. There's a program called Fill, F-I-L-L. -L. But first you need a square or a shape or whatever it is. It has to be enclosed. It has to be no spaces or no uh, places where like the, the paint will run out. Now you have to get inside the square or the circle or whatever, but you have to put your pen up. Pen up. You have to get your pen up and maybe go forward a little bit. You don't have to be perfectly in the center. Let's say I take a right 90 now and I go forward 10. As long as your turtle's inside the square with the pen up anywhere in the square, you type in the word fill, it'll automatically fill the whole shape. It'll go to the edges, no matter if it's a, a square, rectangle, triangle, circle, a bunch of stuff, as long as it's got a well-defined uh, circumference and stuff, it'll take care of it. So set color, set background, and fill. You can put in commands and make all kinds of colorful shapes.